You would not call a group of people a mob unless they really be mobbing. These niggas really be mobbing. The, 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 the blinker then went off, chat. Glomerate of several family units merged together as one, and sitting at the throne of each mob are the dominant couple, the alpha male, but more importantly, the alpha female. Because like with their bigger hyena cousins, Is that a whole mere cat is that his is that is that mere cuss? Okay, it's mere cussy. All right, man. Last of an era. These are final reactions in this crib. This is Casual Geographics, the most murderous animal on earth. Might surprise you. And I'll know. I know you might be wondering. Chad don't even know what I'm about to say, but I'm about to preach it to Maja too. I know you about to be like, yo, Simba, where the intro go? The intro's gone, man. It is. Gotta get that watch time up. Once the once the once the intro get going, y'all click off. So sorry. End of an era. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to hundred K, two hundred K. No more intro. Look, chat don't even know we doing no intro. Oh, it hurt, don't it? Oh, it hurt, don't it? Oh. <laughs> we gonna let them talk about that while we get into the video though, for sure. So in 2016, the University of Granada published a study that tried to answer the question of what mammal out of the thousands on Earth is the most homicidal. And the results, well, if it wasn't on paper, you wouldn't believe it. Researchers created a list of over 1,000 candidates and by painstakingly studying over 4 million animal deaths total and recording how many of those life retirements were caused by the same species, they were able to mathematically determine what mammals were the most likely to murder their own kind. And nobody could have predicted some of the answers. The Dama Gazelle plays 16th on the homicide scale with an 11.85% chance of getting past tense by another Dama. Slightly above them. Wait. Damn, I look bright as fuck, chat. I'm not, my bad. Hold on. Let me turn these lights now. All right. So, um, a, a Gazelle getting murked by a Gazelle is crazy. That's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? Because you're blazing. Nigga, I'm not. Okay. At 14th were chinchillas with a probability of getting put down by a fellow chilla at a solid 12%. Brown bears just barely made the top 30 at less than 10%. But the bears of the sea, specifically the New Zealand sea lion, lapped them with an execution rate above 15. Now, you're probably wondering where humans ranked on this list. We gotta be up there. I mean, there, there's just no way. No. Humans didn't even crack the top 40 with less than 2% of human soul evictions caused by another human. In fact, according to the numbers, lemurs have far more bloodlust than humans and chimpanzees. But the most horny for homicide mammal in this study, the most murderous creature on earth, was the meerkat. No, not a meerkat, the meerkat, with about 20% of those in gods recently deleted having been airdropped by another meerkat. But like with any true psychopath, to see where these tendencies come from, we gotta look at their family. Meerkats are a type of mongoose, an animal that essentially married crackhead determination with gang mentality. Mm. We're gonna get back to them in a second, but just know, running a fade with mongoose is like getting attacked by a team of temperamental- Plural of mongooses, I just like, oh, plural is mongooses. I just like, mon yeah, mongoose sound better, you know what I'm saying? So chat, is it fish or fishes? Or is it like mongoose? It's a bunch of mongoose. Can mongoose be like plural as well? Talked with teeth. But if you take a wider look, meerkats belong to a super family that I'm not even gonna try to pronounce. I just know that they share it with fusas, which I talked about last video, and hyenas. Yeah, the hyenas closest relatives are mongooses like the meerkat. And that made no sense to me until I heard what meerkats sound like. Oh, makes sense. They sound like fucking laughing hyenas. The mongoose is probably most famous for their- Yo, chat, you know what I've been seeing on TikTok? I don't know where the fuck these people are, but the town has an elk, right? They have an elk, and the fucking elk has been getting angry and just running through the town screaming, and everybody has to go inside. Because it'd, be, it'd be like, you know what I'm saying? Bro, have y'all been seeing that TikTok? I've seen like two or three TikToks from that same sound, bro. I mean, from that same town. And it's just like a mad-ass elk, bro. Eternal beef with snakes. Except the word beef is doing a lot of heavy lifting, since snake versus Damn. mongoose is more lopsided than an edge up from Stevie Wonder. A common misconception is that they're immune to snake venom. They're resistant, but there's a point where enough venom will murk even a mongoose. The mongoose has a mutation in their nicotonic acetylcholine receptor that makes it harder for neurotoxic snake venom to bind to oh, it. That's how the that same cobra up. that can flatline a person in 15 minutes can fully get put on a t-shirt by a warpath weasel. And meerkats will run fades with highly venomous snakes and turn them into a belt if they need to. These sand assault squirrels will even weaponize the power of friendship to flex on enemies like snakes through a process called mob. 
By the way, that is a puffer adder, aka one of the most venomous snakes in Africa. Wow. Speaking of which, don't worry, I didn't forget about this. But to explain why meerkats have such a high KD ratio against their own kind, you gotta understand how functionally dysfunctional their families are. The meerkat empire is built on a foundation of violence, extortion, spawn killing, extortion? cannibalism, but most importantly, a power hungry mother, and it goes like this. Meerkats live in groups called mobs, and each mob is a Oh uh, Well, of course, of course, of course. They live in groups called mobs. Uh, they gangster, all right? They different, they built different. You would not call a group of people a mob unless they really be mobbing. These niggas really be mobbing. The, 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 the blinker then went off, chat. Glomerate of several family units merged together as one, and sitting at the throne of each mob are the dominant couple, the alpha male, but more importantly, the alpha female. Because like with their bigger hyena cousins, Nigga, is that a whole meerkat pussy? Is that his coochie? Is that is that mere cuss? Okay, it's mere cussy. Biggest, meanest mama meerkat that calls the shots. Everyone has a job in meerkat society. Yo, and he has yeah. like a bro. Nigga had like a full thirty second segment of mere cussy, bro. Bro, it was just in the sc Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Oh my god, bro. Don't be Shane Dawson and smack that. <laughs> oh god. Alpha female is responsible for birthing new members to the mob, which is why she eats by far more than anyone else, so that she can make enough milk to feed her pups. The top male is primarily in charge of guarding his defenseless kids, and when he's not doing that, he's usually out hunting or spreading his scent to reinforce his territory. Uh, then you have the scout. Okay, and then there's balls. Okay. So I just seen mere cussy, and then I see balls. Mere alls. Yeah, I, bro, 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 bro. I don't need mirror balls. I don't need to see that. Imagine, I'm sorry, bro. This is the longest hour of your life, gang. I promise you that. Out team, the meerkats whose jobs are to forage for food wherever they can find it. And watching their backs are the sentinels, the security guards of the clan who keep uh, an eye. Oh, uh, that nigga really keeping watch. Look, <laughs> Look at him. He like, yeah, y'all good on this side, gang. Hey, back up, back up. You got a wristband? You know what I'm saying? Now for ops like eagles or he jackals really and looking. alert the foragers of danger with an alarm call. And back with the newborns are the babysitters who keep the new okay. recruits from wandering and going MIA. And the second they hear that alarm, they either rush the kids back underground or prepare to defend them with their life. Mm. And of course, to teach the meerkats how to meerkat, you have meerkat mentors. That job description- They got men- God damn. These niggas got mercenaries. That, they got a patriarchy, a hierarchy system. They got the uppers, they got workers, they got store runners, chat. Is that a crab? That is a, a fucking scorpion. That, bro, they got mentors to teach them how to be a fucking mob boss. Level 100 mob boss. Like, that golly. Includes passing down all the tricks of the trade, like how a scorpion minus a stinger is just free protein. They'll even hand a mutilated scorpion to the pups for them to hone their hunting prowess on. By the way, did you know that when you remove a scorpion's stinger, you also remove its anus? So if they don't get discharged from reality right there, they get put in a coffin by severe constipation months later, the more you know. And So if you get stabbed by a fucking scorpion, they just, all they doing is, is poking you with a booty cat? Chat, if you get stung by a fucking scorpion, all they did was stab you with a booty. Wow. Wow. Hey, real quick. We got new merch, man. There's the uh, Share a Smile drop that had just released a couple of days ago. We got it in white, black, and tan. I bought back some of the old merch that was selling really good because you guys requested it. So uh, make sure you go check out the store. It will be linked in the description. And enjoy the rest of the video, man. Peace. Last are the pups themselves, and their only job is to not die. And you you're ain't gonna know that? Like, I wouldn't think the scorpion's stinger is also they, they shithole, gang. You know what I'm saying? Snake's tail isn't isn't they shithole. They got like a shithole underneath type shit. So like, I would think, you know, it's, it's under the body type shit. Lethal, lethal booty star. Okay.
Why just surviving Meerkat society can be harder than Hefner. One of the most crucial rules of Meerkat Monarchy is that only the alpha female is allowed to have pups, and she can end up spawning 80% of all the infants in the mob. If one of her subordinates literally f***s around and she's the one to find out, the penalties can include the illicit offspring getting discontinued permanently, and even the offending female getting banished from the family by the queen. And with how Meerkat mobs work, a lot of times this involves a mother evicting her own daughter. Damn. And when Meerkat's being used social, getting kicked out can be a death sentence with extra steps. So often the outcast will come crawling back, and sometimes she's allowed back in, but on one condition. The alpha female can and will force the insubordinate outlaw to breastfeed her children, basically using the threat of eviction to turn what's often her own daughter into a wet nurse. Wow. Oh, bitch, you was fucking on the men in here? The only way you coming back is if you breastfeed my kids. You see how crazy that sounds? You see how crazy that sounds? It's either you go out there and die, or you come back and breastfeed my kids. What is that? What had what kind of drop, bro? I promise you, if some of these animals could fucking talk, they would have some of the best drama series in the fucking world. They would have, bro. I would watch a meerkat drama series. I really would. Cause like, bro, who the fuck is doing that? The only way you can hang with us again and be a part of the mob is you gotta breastfeed my kids. They're not saying that on reality TV. The price of promiscuity is why most baby meerkats born will celebrate their first birthday in the afterlife. Pups not birthed by the alpha are at such a risk that some insubordinate females will even catch a case eliminating the queen's kids if it means giving her own a better chance. But it's wow. not that easy. The meerkat monarch is so attached to the throne that she's even willing to exile one of her daughters just for getting too big and therefore being too big of a threat. Just like hyenas, female meerkats produce double the testosterone as males, and they use this to bully the rest of the mob into submission. A banished female does have the options of either trying to bag a bachelor to start a mob of her own, or just straight up trying to join a new one. But there's always the chance she gets violently rejected for her efforts. To put it in perspective, imagine a grandmother that wow. not only puts her daughters out on the street for getting pregnant. They used to have a show called Mir- What the fuck? No, y'all are- y'all are joking. Y'all are joking, right? They did Meerkat Manor. Oh my god. Not only turns her own grandchildren into a case number, but only lets that daughter live under her roof if she agrees to nurse her mother's kids, which, yes, would mean breastfeeding their own younger siblings. It's twisted. Ow. That's just how meerkats manner. And speaking of siblings, even your own roommate in the womb weight room can do you dirty. Meerkat pups will often square up and throw paws with each other. And even though these fights aren't to the death like with hyena cubs, there's a direct relationship between the availability of food and just how violent these fades can get. Early on, meerkat pups rely 100% on helpers bringing them food. And a pup will start something with their own sibling if they see that one getting too close to a helper. The human equivalent would be your mom coming home with McDonald's and you and your brother throwing fisticuffs with the winner getting to eat and the loser getting to watch. Damn. Actually, we might not be that different. And if that weren't enough, there's always the possibility of a rogue Yoink. male kidnapping an unsupervised pup to try to add it to his own mob. What? What the fuck? What the fuck do you mean? You steal kids to add it to your... Nah, yo. I ain't gonna lie, they might have to reboot Meerkat Manor. What the fuck? You just forced to... <laughs> Stealing babies? Gotta get your numbers up. Oh my god, they really yoinked a child. To be fair, kidnapping's rare, but it usually ends with one less meerkat to count. Now, everything I just mentioned involves politics within the mob. Intermob conflicts happen too, and it's usually when a foraging party of Sansis and assassins trespasses into rival territory. And like with every other territory? aspect of this- Nah, they dead, they dead ass got it down to a T, bro. I think, to be honest, I think this is where the mob got its likelihood from. Like, meerkats was here first. They was doing this shit first. Mob wasn't doing shit like this. I, I guarantee you some Italian Guido nigga saw that shit out in the fucking, out in the woods and shit. It was like, we need to fucking be like them. And that's where the mob came from. Murder so. Mongoose's life. This too can lead to violence. The meerkat mafia will try to intimidate the opposition with a war dance. Now usually, that's all this is. Just a bunch of aggressive posturing and a healthy helping of hold me back. But 10% of the time, words can't do what war can. And it gets physical enough to remove multiple meerkats from the census. And according Jesus. to studies done in the Kalahari, almost half of mob on mob brutality is initiated by the alpha male. So long story short, males are usually the ones starting stuff with other mobs, while females prefer to keep their beef inside the family. All that adds up to one in every five meerkat obituaries being authored by another meerkat. Meanwhile, one the much more five? infamous hyena has a homicidal hit rate of about 8%. 
20% of meerkats die to another meerkat. We gotta stop this meerkat on meerkat violence. It's to the point where you almost wonder why meerkats don't just choose to live on their own. Since the biggest threat to their way of life is often another meerkat. No, that's a cat in there. Yes, a little meerkat. The answer is you sociality. Wow. Spark knows version, it's a system where there's one female spawning babies and everybody else works together to bring up the children while also splitting the labor of the colony. Bees and ants are probably the most famous eusocial insects, and so far, we can only name two eusocial mammals, those being the raisin of rodents, the naked mole rat, Ew! and the like, yeah. Meerkats live in the desolate, sun-baked deserts of the Kalahari, where grocery shopping is a treasure hunt and death can get delivered to you faster oh than an God. Amazon package. The mob system, although not perfect, keeps members fed and protected, especially the pups who almost always have someone watching over them. Their alarm system is so advanced that the sentinels have different calls for different situations with different levels of urgency. For example, the warning call for an approaching fox or jackal is not the same for that of a bird of prey. And like I said, the power what? of friendship is their best weapon against threats like snakes. In fact, the only snakes they really have to worry about are the ones related to them. So, when it comes to meerkat family, you can't live with them, but you don't got a chance in hell without them. I've called a lot of animals homicidal, but no mammal is more murderous and more of a legitimate danger to themselves than a baby-faced foot-tall terminator and the comic relief of Lion King. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. That'd be good. Behind the scenes footage of the latest vlog. Okay. Simone and Pooba going crazy. Too. I want to eat a mirror. Okay. All right. Hey, W video. Shout out Casual Geographic, man. You know what I'm saying? If you actually were in the stream and seen the trials and tribulations before this reaction and throughout this reaction, hey, kudos. If you didn't, you just missed it. You missed it, Ken. You missed it.